So that's our last question. So right. the, the final question was, okay. show me your routine. Tell me what you're doing. And you, we get that often. So I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. Um, people ask me, how come you don't get sore when you sell or size? And again, you're not tearing down to build up. The movement up and down is increasing circulation and it's getting rid of lactic acid if there is any lactic acid buildup very quickly. So in any routine, um, priming the body first is very important. In any sports and athletic activity, we can improve overall athletic performance in anything if we sell our size first because we're literally treating the body collectively as a whole, not as parts. And as we do it as a whole, the body as a whole becomes stronger and more efficient. So, we begin with the gentle baby bounce, just like this, and I do the same thing. Think about what you want to accomplish during the day. If you have a physical objective that you want to accomplish, whether it's weight loss, whether it's a, a condition or a knee problem, or um, if it's a, an illness, which we talked about a little bit last week, see light in that area. Take this moment to, to you know, connect with, with God and thank Him for the day. Start showing a, an attitude of gratitude while you're bouncing because the movement up and down challenges brain activity and can leave a stronger chemical impression on the brain as you're moving up and down so that you can retain... I mean, we're, we're the people, we need to take charge of how we feel and how we perform. And we can do that. And we, we exercise a little faith. We exercise the belief that we can be the person that we want to be and be able to see that. So visualize that. I feel healthy. I feel happy. I feel terrific. Every area of my body is performing more and more efficiently. I see my knees as being filled with light. The ligaments and the tendons are getting stronger. They're supporting the joint. I'm getting more circulation between the joint. My lymphatic system, my immune system is sucking and vacuuming out the internal environment of the body and it's opening up and I'm feeling better. So things like that. Develop your affirmations and then say them out loud. Proclaim it. Proclaim it. It doesn't matter whether you truly believe in it now or not. Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference. Your nervous system doesn't know the difference. And so as we start to proclaim these things, our body responds to what we say, think, and do, and how we feel. So feel terrific and say it even whether you do or don't. Start, start saying it, start living it, start believing it, and do it while you're cellular sizing because of the impact that that has at a cellular level. So I'll do my gentle movement up and down. And then um, after this for, yeah, I used to do two minutes. I might do a minute now. But, but take that time depending on what you want to accomplish. Do the gentle twist. This is a wake-up call for your digestion, your elimination, the liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, the adrenals, lower back. So this is just a really, you know, you can move your head around a little bit, hold on to the balance part so you don't, get dizzy and fall off, but it's just, you know, it's, again, we're moving fluid through all these different areas of the body. It's part of the routine. Moving up and down alone will, will help to do that, but that just, I think, improves the efficiency. Then what I do is I, I'll start my, my running in place. Now, sometimes, if I don't have a lot of time, I'll go very, very fast, and I'll count, um, or I'll watch this is what I do. There's a app that is that I put on my computer and on my cell phone that is a, a stopwatch. And the one I have, I think it has a blue and a, or a green and a red arrow. But I will have my computer setting aside. And, and when I start my program, because I want to make sure I do my 10 minutes, I hit the start button and then I watch the countdown or the count up. And what I do is then I, if I'm counting 60 seconds for one minute and I want to sprint, I will run really, really fast for a minute and see how many I can do in that minute. So that would be the aerobic activity. And it's like this. 
and I go for about a minute, and when I'm done, I feel it. When I get toward the end, that's when I, I might slow down a little bit, depending. But I want to see how, how many I can do. If I'm doing it for a longer period of time, then I'll continue to jog, but I'll, I'll, just, I'll just jog a little easier, lifting my knees up, so you're working the core, the stomach. Then I work on my core and my stomach. And so having the balance bar to hold on to gives you more confidence so you can put more effort into the routine without worrying about falling off so you get better results. So you can, I usually turn to the side, hold on to the balance bar, tilt backwards, and I just do my front kicks. If I want to work underneath the chin a little bit, I tilt my head back some. Holding on to the bar makes it easier. And every time I come down, I leverage the weight. I'll do that, generally, to the count of about, don't, don't start off doing what I do, but I'll usually do it to about a count of 100. And then I work on the waist and the hips. Same thing, I usually turn toward the balance bar, hold on to it now, and I just kick out side to side. And every time I come down, if I lean slightly with the bounce, just slightly lean, I feel this working more than if I just kick my legs out side to side. So that's a little secret. So again, that works the obliques and the hips. And then for the, and I, again, I count to 100. So every time that he comes out, one, two, three, four, all the way up. And then for the lower back and the buttocks, I do the same thing. And I often on this one, I'll bring the shoulders into play. So you can, when you're starting, you can hold on to that balance bar. And then by kicking my leg, I'm, or I do this here which is really simple, um, but very effective for the shoulders as well. And then after that, I'll do the hips, inner outer thigh, both sides of the knee. I stand on one side of the mat, step across to the other side, and I just go side to side. And as I'm doing this, I'll count usually on this one, I don't go to 100. Um, I'll go to 50. One, two, three, four, five. And then when I'm done with that, you can then count 50 of doing it with your feet together. Three, four, five, six, seven. And the neat thing is with our new app, you can take all of these movements and you can put the number of and the length of time you want to do each one of those movements. So you can literally create my routine, your own routine. Um, you can add, take away, that all works. And then when I'm done, I end up just gently loosening everything up. And that's, that's what I do in place of just the baby bounce. But this is fine too. And then I'm done. Now, whoops, <laughs> sorry, Christy. If I, if I want to focus on something for the day, and there's times I want to do that. If I want to work on the knees, which I've been working on lately because I injured that one doing something crazy a few weeks ago. Um, <laughs> but keep your back straight, feet flat, and just push down into the mat. So the jamba run, if you want, you want to keep your back straight, feet flat. That one, let me tell you about that. Let's talk about that for a minute. That jamba run, I think that's an incredible movement for people who want to lose weight and want to help move the body toward ketosis. Because when you do the Jamba Run, and for those who don't know what ketosis is, it's a, a state that the body gets into where it is fed off of, it's depleted most of the sugars, the natural occurring sugars in the bloodstream and now 
it's looking for more fuel. And that's, that's the fat, the white adipose tissue. Well, when you do the Jamba run, those muscles are big. And they, again, they need a lot of fuel. And so you do repetitions of it. You eat up the glucose and the sugars very quickly. Now, as you continue to do repetitions of it, there is no more glucose or sugars. It's been depleted. So now the body needs more fuel. It starts to feed off the white adipose tissue or the fat. So we do repetitions of it. Every time we're doing it, the body needs to get used to burning and looking for that additional fuel. So I think it's one of the greatest, greatest movements that uh, we can do for, for weight loss. And of course, you've heard about the women who've gotten rid of their cellulite doing repetitions of that, um, where doctors have said they believe that it was so intense it can grow new capillaries. So that's, uh, that's another benefit of that, that movement. Um, oh, and if you want to work on the arms, and I'll do this occasionally, uh, may do this tonight. Um, I will count what I do, <laughs> again, is, and you can start off with just 20. I mean, 20 is plenty. Um, just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. So you're pulling up and pushing down. If you're doing it right, you're going to feel it in the, the front part of the arm, and you're going to feel it in the back part of the arm. And that's, that's all I do for, for my arms. It's, uh, it's simple. You don't need any special equipment. Um, but as